everybody. So today we're talking about three steps I took to be a better step parent. And uh, let's just jump right in. So first and foremost, might sound obvious, I had to find some commonalities. And at, you know, what, three years old, there's not too much that you're not trying or willing to try, but throw in that step parent mix and there's a lot you're not willing to try. Or it always ends with, well, is mommy going? Well, is mommy going? And that can get pretty frustrating pretty quickly. One thing we did have in common was just our love of ice cream and reading. One of our first date nights was going to Barnes and Noble and then going to Cold Stone. Now, in finding commonalities, the second step I took was not forcing it. So it's not like it was just like this epiphany of, oh yeah, let's do this. Let's go to Barnes and Noble and let's go get some ice cream. No, it, it took a lot of time to get there to where it was just her and I. Again, if I asked Natalie if she wanted to do something, it was always followed up from her with, well, is mommy going? Is mommy going? Yeah, rough times. But I realized I couldn't force, I couldn't force that relationship. It had to be on her time. It had to be when she was ready. And sure enough, she asked me one day if we could go to Barnes and Noble and get a book. And I was all for it, seeing as how I had asked her, you know, 45 times before that if she wanted to do that. But sure enough, eventually she did. And again, it just became this consistent date night that we did for a number of years. And we would head out Thursdays. The Thursdays was, was our date night. So, and we would go hit Barnes and Noble, grab a book, and then we would go and get some ice cream afterwards at Cold Stone. And it was in the same parking lot, so it was even better for us. Instead of having to drive to one place and the other, we could just park at one spot and walk to both. And, and then honestly, walking to both of them just gave us time to get to know each other, talk, have fun, joke around, and it, it, it's just been great. And now we still have this love for ice cream and we continue that. Menchie's opened up here in Fresno um, quite a few years ago and we were, we were there, front and center, ready to go. Rolled ice cream came into town here in Fresno. Again, front and center. There's a, a new rolled ice cream spot opening up um, that we're gonna go hit probably in the next few days. In those steps, you know, finding commonalities and not forcing it, the last step that I took was I never gave up. I never stopped trying. I never stopped asking if she wanted to do things. I never stopped asking if she wanted to go out. I never stopped asking if she wanted to hang out, if she just wanted to go to the park or if she wanted to play a puzzle, anything. I never stopped asking. And now we do a lot of stuff together because I never stop. It's, it's not easy. It's just very tough. There's really no right answer. Again, this is what I did. Hopefully it helps you. I never wanted her to think that I was stopping or that I wasn't going to continue to try to do things with her. Um, now we have date nights and we do go out and she is a huge steak fan. But like I said, I never gave up. I always asked, I always put myself out there and I put myself out there knowing that, hey, it might be a no. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. My nose is itching. Sorry.